Thank you very much. If I had to live my life over again, I would come across that same bridge in that same car, and I would say it as mantra, as praise, as poetry, as love of life and love of movies. But this time I would say, Blythe Danner. Life down. <laughs> Here's what you must always know about me in these situations in Buford. I am always 15 years old. <laughs> when I come before you, when I saw this night, this was extraordinary. When I heard Mike O'Keefe, when I saw other film writers and screenwriters movie directors and producers coming to Buford for the love of film, for the love of art, I can see that 15-year-old boy. I spoke on this stage my senior year in high school. I was president of the senior class. It was the middle of the senior class play which was fair exchange that year. A play you will never hear of before or again. <laughs> and I came out, my only duty, I did not get a part in the play, but my only duty was to come out at halftime. And I said, ladies and gentlemen, we will not have an intermission, but I would like to give you enough time to go out and catch your breasts. It was my first great laugh line in Beaufort, South Carolina. Uh, this time moves me for more reasons than I can tell you. When I saw Mike O'Keefe playing the boy, there was a fictional part of me. He played it with more reality than I had ever brought to the role myself. I had just been played by John Voigt, but I had an interesting thing with John Voigt. John never spoke to me, and he just didn't, he just didn't talk to me. Uh, I took my family down to meet him, and I didn't realize this. He had made deliverance the year before, had met James Dickey, hated James Dickey, and decided he would never speak to me at all, which he didn't. So my first movie stars were when they came to Buford were Robert Duvall, Blythe Danner. And Blythe, I can tell you this now, you are the movie star of my life. <clears throat> and I used to be a great admirer of people that won Sweetheart of Buford High School. Uh, Miss Buford High. And I thought if Blythe Danner had been to Buford High School when I was there, they would have had to do something like elect her the goddess of Buford High School. <laughs> I'd never seen a woman like that, and I'd never seen an actor like that. My father died thinking that he gave Robert Duvall his career. And my father said, son, only when he got a role with some meat in it, some virility, only when he got a solid role that he quit from becoming a B actor and became someone who could bring in a crowd. <laughs> and the people who made the Great Santini did me one great favor. They sent my father, my father was, you know, he said, too bad John Wayne is dead, son. They sent Dad a telegram telling him they had chosen the actor to play Dad in the Great Santini. They were sending the actor to Atlanta to meet Don, get his accent, study him. And they said, the actor we've chosen to play you, Colonel, 
is Truman Capote. <laughs> I told Blythe and Michael last night, and I always loved this about my father. When he saw Blythe the first time, he was, you know, he was dazzled like, who would not be? And Dad says, boy, Blythe Danner, what a package, huh, son? <laughs> and I said, Dad, she would fall in love with your utter sensitivity. <laughs> and he says, I'll tell you one thing. She's a lot better looking than your mother ever dreamed of being so. <laughs> but then she said, he said, but I think I'm a lot better looking than Duvall. <laughs> you have seen on screen, and this was miraculous to me, I cannot tell you. This night is miraculous to me. My wife, the novelist Cassandra King, sits there. Uh, <clears throat> And I've been wanting her movies uh, to be made out of her books. I've been uh, sitting there thinking this is a, a magical thing to happen. A thing like this, a night like this, is something magic. Because I want you all to remember, I was 15 when I came to this town. And I didn't know a soul. And my mother said, son, Make Buford your home. You're from a Marine Corps family and the Marine needs a fighter pilot. They need one in Buford, that's our job. You don't have a hometown. You can choose anyone in America, from Alaska to Hawaii to Buford. If you make this your choice, it's gonna be your hometown because that's the way America works. I chose this magical place and then it was nice to me by choosing me right back. I have never regretted one single thing, one single moment of being in this town. The yeah. <laughs> Life Danner and Michael O'Keefe came back to celebrate this. It's simply another miracle this town keeps throwing at me as I live my life here. Because this is movies, and because we're talking about film and love of image, I will leave with my, what my father said on the happiest day of his life. He burst into my room in Atlanta and he said in the happiest voice I've ever heard my father use, son, you and I were nominated for Academy Awards last <laughs> night. Your mother didn't get squat. <laughs> but then my father said, I thought Blythe Danner brought the whole thing together. <laughs> she has done that tonight, and I thank Michael O'Keefe for being such a fabulous incarnation. of the boy I dreamed I could be. Thank you all tonight.